Welcome back ladies and gents to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Place Week number 192. We have a brand new sponsor to announce and I'm sure many of you guys will know them from World of Warcraft but welcome Skillcap to our family of sponsors. At the end of this video we'll be doing a big giveaway from them so be sure to stay tuned for that. I know you guys are excited to see some plays so without any more delays let's dive headfirst into this episode with smelly rice balls on a moo moo. After taking red buff he decides to get a jump on the enemy Lee Sin using his WE and red buffed auto attacks to slowly DPS him down. He queues over the wall at the same time Lee Sin does but despite a fail flash Lee Sin's mobility keeps him alive. Persistent little Amumu decides to wander around the enemy jungle looking for Lee Sin while evading the rest of the enemy team and he finds him recalling for the free kill. With Yasuo right on his tail he wobbles his way to the top side of the map where the enemy Shyvana has come down to collapse on him. Facing death he quickly reacts and decides to bandage toss to the wolves getting some distance but he has to stay away from Yasuo so he goes up. Shyvana procs her E and then starts to get him lower but a great flash dodges the Q from Yasuo and gets him to Annie. The dragon continues to chase and then all of a sudden she flashes into her ult but an immediate stun from Annie keeps him alive as the follow up CC from his ult allows him to escape. Coming in at 4th place we have Joking2345 on Alistar with a beautiful play under the tower. The enemy team is up a little bit of gold but it's fairly early on so tower diving would be mad right? Well not for this Matt Cal. He moves in and takes charge with a WQ on the entire team into last breath on 3 as he pops his ult and tanks the tower while CC'd, flashing at a range to help scrap up with his team. One by one the enemy team goes down resulting in 2 kills at first as he moves towards the friendly Ezreal to make sure Karma goes down. Yasuo focuses the enemy Amumu to pick up the 4th kill in this play while sparing no kill in return. Our number 3 play takes us near Baron with Doge on Yasuo turning around a fight basically 1v5. Right off the bat we see the enemy team has just picked up a couple of kills on his teammates so he picks up the third charge on his Q and backs off. All of a sudden he Qs 2 and goes right in using Sweeping Blade to get to Yi and grab the double right as his teammate goes down. After flashing away he breaks line of sight and turns around with another Q using Kog'Maw to close the gap on Morgana and break line of sight again. He predicts and puts a wall up to deny Orion as he gets the quad and goes ham to secure the penta after some brilliant moves in this fight. Landing in at second place we have Medola 4 on Lucian displaying amazing synergy with Orianna to defend their base while massively behind in gold. As Lucian goes back to heal Orianna chunks Ari to about half health and then she lands an incredible QR into dissonance for the kill but now she's in trouble. While in Zanya's Lucian fends off Fiora chasing her away with the calling as the friendly Udyr tries to finish her off. Lucian gets on the AD carry as Jinx tries to finish Udyr to save her teammate and get the speed up from her passive and she actually does manage to save Fiora but at the cost of GA. Lucian backs off because of Fiora but Orianna's got his back with a nice QW. The shield from Orianna gives him the confidence to 1v1 the super fed AD carry and then together they just barely take down Fiora. The enemy blitz rushes in and flashes but a clutch shield keeps him alive as he dodges the hook and escapes to heal. After regrouping and pushing down mid, red team actually flips the game around to take it to the enemy nexus and win the game. And for number 1 pro play for this week we have runes 11 on Morgana but this is a full teamwork play so props to everyone on blue team. With the gold scores extremely close a lot is hinging on this fight at Baron. As it gets lower they decide to pull the trigger as the enemy pantheon starts his man drop and blue team backs up. The fight erupts as Morgana stays back but when Triss looks to be fine she turns on the heat and flashes in for a massive vault as the unstoppable force and disintegration ray wombo the enemy team. At this point it's going to be an easy cleanup for blue team as they trade kills on Jarvan for the ace. Let's have a look at that incredible team fight one more time before moving on to the bonus clip. And for a bonus clip of the week we have big M4N on Karthus who goes for some kills on bot lane but ends up with a much better result. As this plays on I wanted to talk about our new sponsor Skillcapped. To introduce them to those who don't know them from the World of Warcraft website, they're a tool of pure education. Skillcap.com is an excellent resource to up your game and have just recently opened their League of Legends site which is full of super detailed guide videos that are crafted by extremely high elo players. You can learn everything from wave manipulation to denying farm and then how to properly teamfight and this is all for a specific champion that you can choose. I personally think there's so much incredible information available on this site that each and every one of you that wants to improve should seriously check it out. So now let's move on to the giveaway. We're going to give away 10 full access accounts for skillcap.com to 10 random comments on this video. I'll be choosing the winners a day or two after this video goes live and luckily enough for them they win the gift of free elo so good luck to those who comment. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to check out the skill cap links in the description box down below and I'll see you back here soon.